Okay, everybody, welcome back. We're now going to do some assembly. And basically what we have is these balls. And I'll give a... Uh, where I purchased them in the description. They're just plastic ornaments. And what I did is I made a circle on here, put the center of it, put this over it, kind of went straight over it with my head and made the dots. The dots are for this rod. This is going to hold the two pieces together. How I go about drilling that hole is take my Dremel tool with a taper bit and basically drill my hole. until it's big enough for my nylon rod to fit in. That's perfect. Okay, do it for the other one. Again. Until it's big enough for my rod to fit through. That works. So, what this is for is, even though these will snap together, once you get some coins in them, there's going to be enough weight to probably make them come apart. So what I do is, I put this little piece here of nylon threaded rod into acorn nuts on either side voila that'll never come apart now the next thing that I have to do is cut a slot in it in the ball for the coins to fall through and I just do it up here because I got to cut that off anyhow and the largest coin that I have to be able to go through is a quarter and that's what I cut the slot for so I got to cut this slot obviously to accommodate that so I got this little saw here, and what I'll do is just basically make about a one and a half, one and a half inch hole here. To accommodate the coins. Okay, now I'll take the balls apart and then finish cutting the slot out. Get all the burrs off. Now pay attention to where the lip is. I want the smaller lip to be facing the back when I assemble this. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll put a little mark right here that designates the back. That way when I go to put it together I don't get all confused. And I usually put Like that. So then we sit there and put the ball into him. Our guy with his belly on. And again, you gotta kind of manipulate it a little bit to get it in there so it's kind of square and straight. Put your rod in to hold the pieces in place.
Now depending on how tight this ball is in there, you may want to put a couple drops of super glue in this area here, CA glue, in order to hold this ball in place. But make sure you got everything where you want it before you do that. Otherwise you'll have a heck of a time getting it out. The base is basically a piece of acrylic and the files are on the website for it. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to fit this guy on here like this. Okay? And what I always do is I don't drill the holes ahead of time because I want to kind of choose where they're going to be. Okay? We can mark it in the places that we want the holes. Okay? Okay, we're ready to drill the holes in the plate now in the base. We had already drawn where we wanted them, so I usually support this acrylic on something when I'm drilling it so it doesn't have a point where it wants to crack from. And I go kind of slow at it too. That way and then we're going to put a chamfer on it. That's all there is to that. So now we're ready to install the base on the dinosaur. There you go. And the kids can just watch them go down. There's all that's to it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this project. It makes a nice gift. Thank you for watching this video project. As always, make sure you support all of our sponsors. They are the ones that make this possible. They are Next Wave Automation, KenCraft Company, Crystal Lack. Make sure you support these companies, and I do thank you for watching. See you next month.